South London Mission has been in Bermondsey, based in Bermondsey since the late 19th century. It was set up as a response to some of the most impoverished areas of London. So it's got places of extreme wealth and places of extreme poverty. And here at the Mission in Bermondsey, we're slap bang in the middle of that. At the South London Mission, we're not many. We just have vision, we have drive. We've grown up in this area. So we understand the area, we understand the frustrations, we understand the injustice. But we also have a picture of what the future could look like as well. So in using the three R's, your respite, your regeneration and your revolution, we try to identify projects which we know that we can deliver effectively, but also we now understand that we cannot do it on our own anymore we have to work in partnership. Brightbox is a meal kit that contains all the ingredients and notes you need to prepare a healthy meal for a family of up to five. Brightbox is something the whole family can get involved in, which is a really important factor. We want families to work together, to spend time together and enjoy quality time together as well as a quality meal. We want to represent a community where everyone is invested in the common goals and the common good and not defined by all the things that make us different. So within Mummy's Republic, we try to identify the, the connections, the necessary connections beyond just provision of food, but those that put cater towards the well-being. So if you think of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, what are all the steps that are required to enable the well-being of the household? And so we, we identify, yes, of course, food and housing, but then it's also the, the, the community, the community around you, your safety, the ability to be recognised and missed when you're not around. Instead of just campaigning in your usual way, it was important to deliver an mess the message in going to Parliament, whereby we just didn't put things in writing, because parliamentarians, they, they have so much to read anyway, and it's just written form. We had to put it in different ways that the senses could be utilised. So we commissioned a painter, a painter who went into all the various homes of our members at Mummy's Republic. She painted the scenes scenes of deprivation, which you wouldn't naturally see unless if you enter the, the homes, but then she also enabled a level of dignity, which was really important as well. So there was that. And then we it commissioned a play as well for it to be presented in a way that you understood that the system of universal credit for those that are really dependent on it, it just didn't work. They were always going to lose in that system. So having all those forms of engagements meant that we could facilitate something which was unforgettable. Another um, approach that we took was we had the, mem the members of Mummy's Republic themselves attend Parliament and speak following the play. And they spoke so eloquently to the point that the next time you see someone that reminds you of a member of Mummy's Republic, you will not pass judgment. We are authentic leaders because our leader, Jesus Christ, it tells us from the get-go in the books that what he was doing was not popular. It wasn't to make money. And at times it put him, him at risk, you know? And some of the things that we do, it is risky, it's edgy because we welcome those to whom community says that they're others. But who are we? <laughs> You know, who are we that we're not others as well to those people outside? So we welcome all because that's our heritage and because we have good models of pastoral leaders that have gone before us. And no matter how radical they've been, the mission still stands, you know? It's seen it all, it's seen the blitz, it's seen rises and falls of the stock market, but it still exists. And it still exists because poverty is systemic and it still exists. And for that reason, we can still always just be willing to put on our armour and just fight it whichever way is necessary. Because there are living 
um, enablers or visionaries or prophets, whatever language you want to use that exists within our community and enable the journey of God's people. I know it's, it's, it's easier said than done, but it's, it's, it's where the spirit is calling our energies right now in terms of revolution. There will be a change. It might not be today, but it will be tomorrow. It's a fundamental underlying principle of the mission that we don't just do projects, but we actually bring about positive change within our community and society.